What I've got here on the front of the table is a uh, one transistor amplifier and there's my power supply over there. The power supply is going to turn the LED on and off based on inputs from different sensors. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use some input sensors to make the LED get brighter and dimmer. And so the more input, the more uh, the more bright, the brighter the LED will become. I'll put the circuit diagram on the back of the video, but uh, it's very simple and uh, it's got a lot of uh, interesting applications. So let's go look at one. In this case I'm using one of these crystal earphones, kind of a grungy one, and I'm going to use that as the input and it's nothing more than a piezoelectric uh, device and if I give this a good thump it will allow enough current to flow through our transistor base to trigger it and turn on our LED. So a piezoelectric device can detect sound, motion, what have you, and you can use that, uh, you can use our transistor to amplify that very weak signal to light up a, an LED or, like I said earlier, to, uh, to trigger a meter, to move a meter or such. So another use for the signal amplifier is light detection. And in this case, we have a photo cell, and when I block the light to the photo cell, you can see the LED changes. It goes on and off. In this case, I've got our inputs hooked up to just a coil of wire, old solenoid, and you can see I can detect magnetism with uh, this very weak bar magnet, it's a kid's bar magnet. I can uh, change the brightness of the LED by just moving the magnet around so I can detect a magnetic field or a change in a magnetic field. So in this case, I've got the uh, inputs to the transistor connected to a motor, and I can see motion. So I can amplify the motion. And this, is, of course, is a change in a magnetic field. And you can see what it does to the transistor. The faster it moves, um, the more the transistor goes off. And the tiny amount of voltage produced in here is nullifying the uh, voltage in the base and turning off the transistor so you can see it and this way when it turns this way it's brighter so I can tell which way the motor is turning and roughly how fast it's turning so again my uh, one transistor amplifier can help me detect a, a motion, a rotary motion. We can also uh, judge the position of something using a uh, resistor and you can see the light get brighter and darker like that. So you can just use a standard uh, variable resistor and again through our amplifier it uh, the small change in resistance causes a big change in the output of the LED.